some of both. This is one that I bought years ago. Photos are often the foundation of precious family memories. For Jim Lanning, it's all about his father, James C. Lanning, and his love for aviation. I caught up with him and took this picture of him over the, uh, over the ice cap, actually. The pilot, now 84 years old, has traveled across six continents and logged 33,900 hours in the air. Dad taught all of us how to fly, and he ended up um, get, getting all of our children their licenses. And, Lanning says, sharing stories about his time in the cockpit. As the new generations come on uh, and, and our children start having children, I just thought it would be a wonderful idea to have memorialized some of uh, the stories and some of the experiences um, coming from dad firsthand. So he hired Rhonda Barrett, a personal historian. He's trying to relate tales from what he experienced to, in, in some cases, give them information that may save their lives someday, you know, in, in, in terms of being a pilot. Barrett is a filmmaker who left a career in marketing to make movies about families. She's one of more than 700 members of the Association of Personal Historians, a national organization for professionals in the field. She says films are not the only form of preserving family history. Some people prefer to collect family stories and photos, even recipes. But when you have it in a book form, you can read the whole article. You can see all the details. This book, for example, chronicles the story behind a successful family-owned business, it includes more than photographs. As even the, um, the original advertisements for, for a family business that were in their local newspaper when they were trying to build their business, what were the types of things they put on sale? Those sweet little things give you a flavor of that, that those conversations that, that must have been had between those, those family members. What did you dig out? Barrett also does consultations for people who want to document their family history themselves. Nowadays, everyone has a, um, a, a camera and a video camera on their, their cell phone. So, so there's an opportunity for everyone to capture something in some way. Here's the kids at this age. This is Brad and, and Chris. Projects like these often prompt intergenerational conversations and family pride. I frankly plan on showing it once it's completed, not just for family, but to the flying family to the flying community. So personal historians are not only documenting family stories before they're lost, they are preserving a bit of history. For writer Fiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. This is this is fooled to the other end of Brantley.